Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to de-bloat Windows 11 and make it feel like a custom, minimal OS without needing a custom ISO. What I'll walk you through today is a full system de-bloat process. We'll cut down on background processes, reduce system threads, and lower handle counts to make your PC run faster and smoother. The main goal here is to boost FPS, lower system latency, and increase overall responsiveness by removing unnecessary background apps, telemetry, bloatware, and other resource hogging features that come with Windows by default. Now let's get right into it. I've included a link in the description of this video to our Discord server where you can find a download link full step-by-step -step guide that I am using. This guide includes the exact version of Windows I'm using and all the tools you'll see in this video, so you don't have to go hunting around or risk downloading stuff from sketchy websites. Important note before we begin, if you are following me in this video step by step, make sure you're using a local account instead of a Microsoft account. You don't have to, but if you're doing everything exactly as I am, using a Microsoft account will cause issues. Things like boot errors, blue screens, and random crashes. I'm not liable if something breaks, so please follow at your own risk. To check if you're on a local account, we can go down to the search bar and open up settings itself. And then you can look in the top left and it'll either say Microsoft account or local account. Fair warning to everyone out there, this guide is specifically for removing things like the Xbox features, all Microsoft bloat, Windows updates, and Windows Defender. First thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the search bar, we're gonna type in virus and threat protection. We're gonna go into manage settings, turn everything off. You will be prompted with the screen, just click yes. Turn everything off in here. First thing what we have to download itself is WinRAR. So we can go into our browser and then type in WinRAR. Go ahead and click the first link, click the blue download on the right side, click download free trial, and it will download automatically. I'd like to put it to my desktop. Once it's downloaded, we can open it. It'll prompt you with a UAC. Click yes, it'll open it. Just follow the guide all the way through. Once this is done, I just uncheck everything on here and I click finish. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the search bar and we're going to type in UAC. We're going to drag this always notify wherever this is on now to never notify so we don't get those annoying UAC prompts anymore. So now that they're gone. Next, we're going to go download Storm Defender Control. You're going to open the link I have in the notepad of this video. Once you open it, it'll download everything automatically. This is where we need a WinRAR for. Go ahead and click download anyways. Save it to your desktop. Once it's done downloading, you can click the RAR folder in the top right in your downloads. Click WinRAR, use just once. The password is going to be S-O-R-D-U-M, SORTUM. What I like to do is I like to take this folder and drag it out to my desktop. We're gonna open up the folder. We're gonna click and right click on D control, run it as administrator, click more info, run anyway. And then we're gonna disable Windows Defender. Once it says Windows Defender is turned off, you are good to go. Next, we're going to be downloading Geek Uninstaller. Once you get into the Geek Uninstaller page, click the Download Now button, click the external mirror, and wait for it to download. Once you're prompted with the screen, put it to your desktop, click Save, open the zip file, put it as a WinRAR or whatever, and then drag geek.exe onto your desktop. We'll be using this later. Next, we're going to download the auto runs. All you have to do is click the link, and it'll take you automatically to this page. Click the blue Download Now button, and then click the external mirror. Once the screen pops up, put it to your desktop again, open the autoruns.zip, and you can just grab this autoruns.exe, drag it to your desktop. We will be using this later. Now for the last one, we're gonna be downloading Windows Update Blocker. Click the link, it'll take you to the page automatically, and it will download it for you. Once it's done downloading, put it to your desktop, open the zip, and then we can just drag the web folder onto our desktop. Now that we have all of these installed, what we're first going to do is open up web. We're just gonna use the regular one, right click it, run it as administrator, disable updates, uncheck the protect service settings, and then click apply now. Once you see this X, you're good to go. Next, we're gonna be using geek uninstaller, right click it, run it as administrator. And what I like to do here itself, I like to personally download a second browser like Brave. Brave is always good. So what I'll do here is click, right click, force removal, Click yes, and then click finish. And then you can do the same thing with Microsoft Edge, runtime view, whatever, just force removal, get it out of here. Click finish, close, and then for OneDrive 2, right click on install. It'll do it by itself. If it gets stuck in a loop like this, what I like to do is close it and then open it up again. And we can do a force removal on it and then it'll delete everything out of it. Click finish, close. 
Now, to get to the other screen, we're gonna click this view button up top here. Click the Microsoft Store apps, and you're gonna follow exactly as I say. We're gonna delete the calculator, calendar, camera, clip champ video editor, clock, Cortana, desktop package metadata, family, feedback hub, get help, local bridge, maps, Microsoft Bing search, Microsoft Edge. We already deleted the first one as a force removal, but it's just as a desktop app. We can just uninstall this. There's not gonna be anything inside of this really. You can see six items. Microsoft News. Microsoft Store. Microsoft To-Do. Mobile Devices. Outlook. People. Solitaire Collection, Sticky Notes, Store Experience Host, Tips, Voice Recorder, Weather, Xbox, Xbox Game Bar, Xbox Game Speech Window, Xbox Identity Provider, Xbox Live, and your phone. Now that is it for Geek Uninstaller. We have successfully removed all Microsoft apps and bloatware within on like on your desktop and all within the registry keys. Next, we're gonna go to Auto Runs. Run this as administrator. Click I agree. And in the everything tab, what you're going to be prompted on to first, this will show you everything that starts on startup on your PC. So what I like to do is go to schedule task and I will uncheck about literally everything in here. And then we can go to the everything tab. What I like to do here is all my brave and then old Microsoft stuff. So it doesn't run at startup anymore. I like to disable all the EPPs, WinRAR, I'll do the Brave, Brave Elevation Service, Brave M, Edge Update, Edge Update M, Microsoft Edge Elevation Service, and that is it for my PC. If you tried to do the Internet Explorer, it won't work whatsoever. Now that is fully done. We have successfully debloated everything on our PC. I would go ahead and give my PC a restart. So before we started with around 160 processes with around 2400 threads at around 77,000 handles now that i am fresh loaded back into windows you'll see a blank space down here that's usually microsoft edge or a store i think that says you can just right click unpin from taskbar now we're gonna go check our task manager now we started with around 100 and i'd say 10 processes 110 under 2000 threads at 1850 and then 44,000 handles so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if this helped you at all please make sure to leave a like and comment on this video also make sure to comment what kind of videos you want to see next from me if you guys want to see any of our paid tweaks we have the brand new auto tweaker that just dropped we make consistent updates every day on it and we also just brought back the manual sessions within the recent update. So if you guys want to be tweaked by us personally, go ahead and join the Discord in the link below. Like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one.